Good evening. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Thursday Evening Prayer. Um, this is Rosie, if you didn't know, and this is uh, Ozzy the dog. He's looking very handsome today. He's had a haircut. He's looking very handsome. Well, ha ha half of him has had a haircut. Half a haircut. <laughs> the, the, the head isn't done, so he looks like a small lion, but that's, that's good. That's good. I hope you've had a good day. I hope you haven't had, uh, haven't had too many problems. I hope it's been fantastic for you. Um, I love, I love my boy to bits. I love my boy to bits. Um, but to say he's full on at times <laughs> would be an understatement. And he likes to break stuff. He likes to break stuff. He has a real knack for it. Um, I wouldn't change a thing about him. I wouldn't change anything about him. Oh, the phone! Oh, it looks like the phone was broken. Now it must have been in my boy's hands. Um, <laughs> sorry about the blip there. Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't change a thing about him. But I, if I could, I could probably stop the breaking stuff. Yesterday, he tore some pages out of a magazine of mine. Um, I don't know whether he liked the article or whether it was a protest. Um, but that was quite a shock. But even more shocking, um, he seems to have broken the handle on my amplifier. And this is an industrial, and this is an industrial amplifier that actually you can pick it up, and it's quite a big, heavy thing. You can pick it up by the handles, and yet somehow he seems to have broken the handle. I don't, I don't know. I love him to bits, but I don't like broken stuff. Who likes broken stuff? Nobody likes broken stuff. I think God likes broken stuff. I think God likes broken stuff. In Japan. Um, I was, somebody told me about this a while ago and I've been reading up again, about it again. There's a method of repairing ceramics. There's a method of repairing ceramics and it's called Kintsugi. And Kintsugi is amazing. It's, it's basically, if there's a big crack in a pot, um, rather than throw the pot away, they repair it. But they don't do one of those clever repairs where they, they you know, if it's a blue pot, they, they, they fill it in and match it up with blue paint. Or, what they do is they fill the crack with gold. They fill the crack with gold. Um, and the idea is not to hide the repair. The idea is to make the repair now a new feature of the pot. And so you've got a blue pot with actually a crack of gold in it. Um, and it's a philosophy, it's a philosophy to value the brokenness and the repair as actually part of an object's history. Which is, which is really good. Now this is in complete contrast, of course, in the West, where it seems to be that everything always has to be perfect. Kintsugi will take something broken and it will repair it, but it will repair it with gold. And so when I was reading about this, it struck me that God is the master of human kintsugi. God is the master of human kintsugi because he knows our brokenness and yet he doesn't reject us or discard us. Um, he takes a heap of broken pieces and he sees the potential of creating something new and actually something even more beautiful. And God doesn't want us to hide our brokenness. God doesn't want us to hide it. He wants to heal us in such a way that actually we're better than we were before. But the cracks and scars are still visible. But they're not seen as something ugly or shameful, but actually they become part of our beauty. God takes our broken bits and he puts them back together and he displays our scars and cracks for his glory. Because it's in the cracks and the scars that we see evidence, we can see evidence of God's power to restore. Um, I mean, there's no greater example than the marks on Jesus' hands and on his feet and on his side, because they are proof, they're proof that he lived and that he died and that he rose again. And so our cracks and scars on the outside um, are places where they can show brokenness but actually people can still see Christ reflected through us. Um, and it shows that we've got a story to tell. Um, we have credibility to minister to the world because these are places that can speak of hope and of light into the darkness of people's situations. And so I think we could all learn something from the arts of, of Kintsugi. Have you, have you heard of it? I have. You have heard of it. Good. I thought you might. Um, <laughs> um, that we can accept our brokenness 
but not and, and we but not try and hide it instead hand all the pieces all the broken pieces of God and delight in the beauty that he can create in us now we're still waiting for God to do something very beautiful with our voices um <laughs> That would be an answer to prayer to some of you lot, wouldn't it? Um, <laughs> God can, but he hasn't yet. We just need to be, that patience that I'm always talking about, we just need to be patient. But God will one day do it. One day I'm going to wake up, I'm going to get in the shower, and I'm going to start singing like Elvis. And Rosie will be in the toilet, and I can hear a noise, and it'll be her singing like Kate Bush. Fantastic. Um, so our song this evening, just, uh, we're going to have a thing. What a friend we have in Jesus. We did flag this up, so uh, 541. Um, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to him in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit, oh, what needless pains we bear, all because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. Have we trials and temptations? Is there trouble anywhere? We should never be discouraged, take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful, who will all our sorrows share? Jesus knows our every weakness, take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Jesus only is our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do thy friends despise, forsake thee, take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee, thou wilt find the solace there. And so the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made the heaven and the earth. So we'll say together our prayer of penitence. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And now Rosie's going to bring us our first reading.
and the reading is Psalm 138. I will praise you, O Lord, with all my heart. Before the gods I will sing your praise. I will bow down towards your holy temple and will praise your name for your love and your faithfulness, for you have exalted above all things your name and your word. When I called, you answered me. You made me bold and stout-hearted. May all the kings of the earth praise you, O Lord, when they hear the words of your mouth. May they sing of the ways of the Lord, for the glory of the Lord is great. Though the Lord is on high, he looks upon the lowly, but the proud he knows from afar. Though you preserve my life, you stretch out your hand against the anger of my foes. With your right hand you save me. The Lord will fulfil his purpose for me. Your love, O Lord, endures forever. Do not abandon the works of your hands. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So our New Testament reading. is 2 Corinthians chapter 8. But thanks be to God who put in the heart of Titus the same eagerness for you that I myself have. For he not only accepted our appeal, but since he is more eager than ever, he is going to you of his own accord. With him we are sending the brother who is famous among all the churches for his proclaiming of the good news. And not only that, but he has also been appointed by the churches to travel with us whilst we are administering the generous undertaking of the glory of the Lord himself and to show our goodwill. We intend that no one should blame us about this generous gift that we are administering, for we intend to do what is right, not only in the Lord's sight, but also in the sight of others. And with them we are sending our brother whom we have often tested and found eager in many matters, but who is also more eager than ever because of his great confidence in you. As for Titus, he is my partner and co-worker in your service. As for our brothers, they are messengers of the church, the glory of Christ. Therefore, openly before the churches, show them the proof of your love and of our reason for boasting about you. This is the word of the Lord. And now Rosie's going to bring us our prayers. So let us pray in the knowledge that God loves us and hears us all. Lord God, we give you our thanks for all the blessings in our lives. For all the people who have shown us love, care, friendship and support. For our food, our homes, the blue sky today and the sunshine. And Lord, we pray for the people who first introduced us to faith. And let's just all take a moment to think about who that was, who first talked to us about Jesus, or who first welcomed us into a church, or who maybe encouraged our walk of faith. And in a moment of silence, Let's think of that person now and pray for them, for their health, for their future, for blessings on their lives. And if they are someone that's passed away, then thank God for them now. Lord, in your mercy. Good and gracious God, who loves and delights in all people. We come before all made in your image, and the spark of life within each person is the spark of your divine life. May our hearts and minds be open to celebrate similarities and differences among our sisters and brothers. Send your spirit to bring understanding, justice and love. May all people live together in peace. Lord, in your mercy. 
Loving God, we come to you with worry and anxieties about what may happen in the coming days and weeks in such strange and unprecedented times. Shower us with the peace Jesus promised to his disciples and make us steady pillars for those around us. In this time of uncertainty and pandemic, help us to remember that we are never alone. Even as we keep our distance from others, help us to find ways to reach out to those who need our support. We pray for those whose incomes and livelihoods are threatened, for the children who will miss their school meals, for those already isolated, lonely and scared who have really suffered during lockdown. Loving God, bring them your peace and through our hands ensure they have what they need. Sustain, strengthen and protect all caregivers. Bless them as they offer compassionate care and show selfless courage in the face of risk. And remind us, Lord, as we wash our hands, that in our baptism you call us to let go of our fears and live in joy, peace and hope. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. Almighty God, we pray for all those suffering in mind, body or spirit. We ask for healing and we ask for miracles. We ask through your goodness and mercy for you to touch each person and each name we lift up to you now and make them well. We pray for doctors, nurses and all healthcare professionals who give us care, for the rest they need, for courage and for their safety. Give them wisdom, skill, compassion, gentle hands and kind words. Help them to know that they are. And Lord, give comfort to those who are struggling at this time with illness, pain, serious conditions or for those who are grieving. Bring peace, hope and blessing on them. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of love, ever caring, ever powerful, ever close to us. Help us to feel your presence with us and listen to your voice. Give us strength and courage to greet, to greet each new day with peace. Help us to put our trust entirely in you in the days that lie ahead. Watch over us, we pray and guide our lives according to your will. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, give us insight to discern your will for us, to give up what harms us, and to seek the perfection we are promised in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Visit this place, Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessings always be upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And so trusting in the promises of God as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Amen. Father, who Amen. art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. And as the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look to you, O Christ. Amen. Amen. And so thank you for joining us this evening. It's always good to uh, well, not see you, but know that there's people there. It's very good. Um, it is good to share in, in prayers together. So tomorrow morning, um, we're back, or I'm back for nine o'clock morning prayer. On Sunday, please remember that if you follow this live, uh, we are 
Oh, we've moved this from 9.30 to 9 o'clock uh, to allow us to go up to the church where we will have morning prayer in church. And that is at 10.30. Sorry, I've got so many so many bits going on at the moment. But uh, yeah, so it's 9 o'clock for, for, for Facebook. YouTube type uh, service and then for 10 to talk, not too technical there um, and then 10 30 uh, live in church so that's good um, church as I said please don't feel compelled to come we're trying to make steps in the right direction and um, you know it's great to be there but it, you know certainly if you're not comfortable with going back to church at the moment then um, you know please watch online or or know that we're, ch we're still church whether we're whether we're worshipping together or worshipping online um, we are still church we're still church and you know we we all still love each other which is which is a good thing uh, next Thursday we have our uh, drop-off for the food bank between two o'clock and four o'clock at the parish centre again following social distancing guidelines please drive in um, drop some food and then uh, drive off again and we you know we try to be really respectful for, for, for people um, it's a really good thing I've been reading statistics on the food bank before coronavirus they were regularly looking after 250 families in Luton uh, they reckon that that's now around 400 um, so 400 people are relying on food donations and it could well go up um, coronavirus has hit this area quite hard it's hit local businesses uh, particularly the airport and so more people hopefully only as a temporary measure but uh, people are using the food bank a lot at the moment so they are they are really in need um, also apparently one of their big financial benefactors was also the airport and obviously that's that's been hit really really quite damagingly at the moment so uh, again a big income uh, source has gone so if you are able to and again please don't feel compelled to give um, it's not a requirement of faith if, if you're able to put something extra in the basket when you do your shopping then uh, it would be very warmly received but as I said before, equally, um, if, you're, if, you, if you're able to pray for this uh, fantastic charity in the town, in our own town, serving our own community, uh, please do, because it's, um, it's really needed at the moment. Can you think of anything else? Any other? I just want to say apologies, because we kept looking and the connection kept breaking up about five times, I think. Um, so apologies for that. Yeah. It, 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 I don't it, know what's it, happened. <laughs> Yeah, there'll be there'll be broken bits, so you'll probably just think it's me fluffing my uh, fluffing my liners again. But uh, uh, there were there were some little blips on there, so uh, I think for that Norman Collier effect, um, I don't know if you remember the comedian Norman, but his whole act, whole act, no, seemed, whole act seemed to revolve around his microphone breaking up. So if that seemed to be what going on, big apologies about that. But um, yeah, I, it must be an atmos atmospheric problem. So uh, let's finish with a final blessing. And so may the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face to shine down upon us and be gracious to us. And may our good Lord look kindly upon us and give us his peace. Now and forever. Amen. 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 Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, we look forward to seeing you again very soon. Have a fantastic evening. Thank you.